The ultimate goal of the lead is to determine the viability, whether that's going to qualify this lead, move it on to the next stage in the sales process, which will typically create an opportunity, and then we can work that opportunity through its life cycle. There will be times, you know, for whatever the reason, that we are going to have to disqualify a lead. Maybe this particular lead doesn't fit our target demographic, and they wouldn't be the worth the time to spend on the lead from an organizational standpoint to work through it. Or maybe the customer, you know, they were once interested in our products and services. However, at this point in time, uh, maybe they, they lost interest in the particular project, and they're no longer interested in those products or services we're providing. The first thing we can do is we can actually disqualify the lead on the lead itself. And there is actually a disqualify option. And, and what we're gonna do is currently I'm in my, my lead section here, my open leads, and we're gonna navigate into the Robin Counts lead, the interested in our products lead that we were in a previous session. And like I mentioned, there's a disqualify option here. And if you look up top in this toolbar here, there's the disqualify. And when I click on that, we can see the various options. First one is, did I lose this lead? Was it lost perhaps to a competitor? Was it a particular situation where I, I just can't reach the person? You know, they're, they're just not able to contact the lead. Or maybe they're no longer interested. Like we said before, they were interested in the products and services, but at this time they're not. Uh, for this particular situation, I'm just going to say I cannot contact them. And we'll go ahead and select that. And as soon as I disqualify this lead, it will deactivate the lead and make it primarily read only within the system. And really the, the nice thing about it being inactive is it's still in the system for historical purposes or in situations where the customer comes back and they say, hey, you know what, Dan? We actually are interested in that product that you offer. Let's go ahead and start working on this together. And in that particular case, I could reactivate it. Okay. So what I'm going to do here is let's go back. I'm going to click on leads and we'll just confirm we're in my open leads and you can see that the lead for Robin is no longer there. So if it were a situation where um, I wanted to actually open that, I would navigate to a different view, which would show me the closed leads. And there's the closed leads views. And we'll go ahead and select that. And what I should be able to do is locate that Robin counts lead. And here it is, Robin interested in our products. And I can click on that and bring that lead into view. And when I open it, there's an option here to reactivate the lead. And you can see it here in the toolbar. And once I reactivate this lead, it's now going to open inside the system again and available for me to start working and you really decide what I want to do with it at this point in time, right? So now we can see it's been reactivated. Okay, status is new, lead source web, and you can see we have the disqualify button again. Now, let's say it's a situation where, you know, the, the customer or the lead or the prospect really does have interest in, in this product. And at this point in time, what I want to do is qualify this lead. I've talked to the person, met with stakeholders, everything looks good. Let's go ahead and qualify this lead. So what happens when you qualify it is that first it will create a new opportunity record inside the application for the lead. So let's go ahead and, and qualify this. We'll click the qualify button. And note when this processing finishes that we will have created the opportunity record and the opportunity record will be what we are looking at. Okay, so now we're actually looking at an opportunity record. You can see it up here, we're in an opportunity. And that's been created based on that qualified lead. Now, if I go ahead and click back here on qualify, it will actually return me to that lead record that we right? Initially created, you can see lead. Okay. Brings me back to that lead record that we initially created. If I wanted to, to work with that and take a look back at the lead record, right? So it allows me everything to see that, uh, see everything that was related to that initial opportunity based upon that lead. Now, if I go back to the develop phase, I'm back working with the opportunity. The other thing that happened is because Robin was a new customer that did not have an account or a contact record inside the application, the tool also went and created a new account for Robin's company, All right? So we can see that the new account uh, company was created for Consolidated Messenger, and that's gonna be within the system. So I go ahead and click on that. 
We'll go ahead and see that there's actually a new account and the account is called Consolidated Messenger. That's the name of the company and there's their website address here, okay? And the other thing, one more thing that's going to be created as a part of this whole process here is we have a new contact record that was created for Robin as well, right? And we can go ahead and bring that up here and look at the contact record. And we can see that here is a contact record for Robin, right? So there's Robin counts. We have our job title. It connects it to the company she's attached to, email address, and other metadata that I may have had at the time when uh, this lead came in. Now, this is the advantage of providing as much information that you can inside the lead when you first create it. And as you are um, you know, coming up with the information to determine whether you're going to qualify that lead. Now, not only will it create the opportunity record, but it creates the supporting records and it populates those supporting records with all the information that was gathered for that lead when it was first created. Now, it would be a matter of me updating the relative information based upon the opportunity, and then I could start walking, uh, working this opportunity through its life cycle as well, through develop, propose, and ultimately close.